Dear Expositional Diary. Things have been going really well here at 11 Sterling. I think we've really gotten into the swing of quarantine life. We've been trying to wake up at reasonable times, we've made sure to shower every day, and almost everyone has gotten used to Eli. And the show has been going really well too. We got new merch, we've really been working as a team. The only problem is, I just want some romance. I feel so alone. Julian! Quentin, I was under the alone time blanket! This is important, something happened! What is it? I found someone. Oh no. I'm in love. Julian sent home from Spain. Quentin alone on the road again. Corona came and the quarantine hit. Michael Oren took an end, didn't throw a fit. Julian started a show. Said we're stuck inside with nowhere to go. They put up no resistance. They may be trapped together, but they're keeping social distance. Keeping social distance. Yeah, we're keeping the social distance. Yay! Are you happy with that? So you're in love. In love. love. Yes. With Julian? No. What? Oh, we thought. No. Why? I mean, are you? No. Maybe. No, with a girl. With a... Yes, Lauren. A human girl. Huh. huh. Wait. Do you guys not believe me? Well, no, not really. Is it because I have a growth? No. You think it makes me undeserving of love? No, no, it's not the growth, Quentin. We like the growth. The growth we is like cute, it. right? Yeah. We do like the growth. Yes, we like it. Yeah. It's super cute. Okay. Good. It's just that you haven't been outside since we filmed the last Quentin on the block. Which was over a month ago. And I know you're scared of Tinder. They just want foot pics. I know. I don't have feet. He has hooves. We just don't see how it's possible that you fell in love. Let alone with a new girl. It happened. I'll tell you. Can I do the thing? Do you have to? Okay, Q, we vote on that type of stuff now. All in favor of Quentin telling his love story in a highly stylized, musically scored, fast-paced action sequence, raise their hand. All against? Jesus. All right, Eli, you're the tiebreaker. What do you think? I'm here for it. All right, you can't argue with democracy. Quentin, take it away. Well, I was out this morning on the fire escape, just minding my own business with a sweet man in my mouth, just sucking on it, you know, letting the enzymes do all the work. Gross. When I peek across the way and notice the flyest mamacita I ever did damn see giving me the sex eyes from across the way. The sex eyes? Yeah, you know, the sex eyes. Oh. Anyway, I knew I needed to telecommunicate with her, so I ran inside to find a sweet slice of paper to write my hot digits down, but I could nary notice a stack. I mean, Quentin. I was in a fugue state! Fine, continue. I had to think fast. And I went back onto the balcony, and she saw me, and she took a picture, which means this girl has my number. That's my number. What? You gave the girl my number. Well, I couldn't remember my own. But you can remember mine? What if I get lost at the store or at the zoo? That's also not your name. Huh? That says Quinkton. Look, bottom line is, I met someone. I really like her, and I want to take things slow. You take things slow? Dude, you're the guy whoa, who- Whoa, 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 whoa. Not in front of Michael. What? Why not Lauren? We tell each other everything. Psh. This is going to be different for me. We're just gonna text now, and then when Corona is solved, I'm gonna take her on an actual date. I want this to be different. I want to take things slow. That's so nice. Anyways, Julian, have you gotten any texts from an unknown number today? It's probably her. Fuck. Okay, Quentin, don't hate me, but I think I totally fucked up. What did you do? I, I think I accidentally sexted your new girlfriend. Julian, what the fuck? She's not my girlfriend. I told you I wanted to take things slow. What? What? You didn't hear the other thing that I said. No, I, I just heard white noise and then I heard the word girlfriend and I just got angry. Yeah, that tracks. Why? What'd you say? Um, I said that I accidentally sexted the fire escape girl. You though. sexted with the fire escape girl? Crunch! Ah, I'm gonna kill you! This is crazy! I know, right? Better than Tiger King. What did you say to her? I don't wanna tell you. I promise. Whatever it is. I won't get angry. She texted me, really great to connect earlier, right? And I, not knowing it was her, responded and said, yeah, sure, Zoom date later. And she said, okay, sounds like a plan. That's not bad at all. And then I texted her, I'm really great at oral, I'm totally gonna nail your ass later, I'm so excited I can my pants right now. <laughs> you said you wouldn't get mad! That was before you virtually violated my future wife! Future wife? You made me say that. 
You're a bad influence on me. Did she say anything back? No, how could she? But I, I promise I can explain this. Do it. Okay. But do it the way that I like. No. Do it. Jesus Christ, dude, whose side are you on? Two out of three vote yes. Democracy is always right. Fine, okay, uh, it's actually a pretty funny story. So this morning I stopped by Susky and Sophie's house just to say a quick hi. Hey! How's Quentin's grow? It just keeps getting worse. How so? I don't know, it just seems so angry. Whoa, 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 hold up. Are you talking to everyone about my growth? No, 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 they brought it up. They'd seen it at the beach, it was a whole thing. What does that even have to do with the story? Listen. So I left Susky and Sophie's house and I get a call from an unknown number. I answer it. Dude. 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 Sorry, who is this? I don't have the number. It's my buddy Nick from class. He tells me that he had to get a new phone because he got hacked by some hackers. And I say, bet. Julian, I need help getting motivated. How about this afternoon, you and I study together for the Spanish oral exam, and whoever ends up getting a better grade gets 20 bucks? Easy money. I'm in. And then I hung up. So when your balcony girl texted me, I thought it was Nick. That's why I said, I'm great at oral stuff, I'm gonna totally f your ass later, and I'm so excited I can f my pants right now. That's still a totally unnecessary and a horribly graphic thing to say to someone. It's just our relationship. I can't believe you ruined this for me. Dude, she's typing. Oh my god. What did she say? Sounds fun. See you at 11. Wet emoji. Oh my god. Clinton? I think you have a sex date tonight. Okay, Quentin, we just have to film this one episode and then we'll get you ready for your date. I can't do this, Julian. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Just a couple of scenes, dude. Come on, hold it together. Alright, let's do it. What's up, folks, and welcome back to The Social Distance, the first ever quarantine talk show. As always, I'm your host, Julian Marcus Shapiro Barnum. We have Lauren Sklamberg on piano, Michael Williams on tech, and Quentin Nguyen Nui on news. Governor Cuomo extended the lockdown yesterday, which means that we are stuck in quarantine for another month. This has gotten us here at 11 Sterling thinking a little bit more long term. We want to present to you a little soundbite of the first ever quarantine Corona Christmas song. Lauren, you want to take that away? In the second month of quarantine, Corona gave to me two plastic gloves and the depression of which I thought that I was free. Ooh, a chilling song for a chilly month. All right, Quentin, do you want to take it away with the news? Okay, buddy, do you want to do the news now? Please, do. Fuck. Um, Michael, Dad, do you, do you want to tell us about the puzzle you're uh, working on right now? Really? <laughs> do you actually mean it? Yes, please. I, um, I need to go deal with something. Right now, I'm doing this military-grade 1,000-piece around the history of hairstyles. What the hell is wrong with you, Quentin? This isn't how I wanted it to go. I didn't want a sex date. Well, tough luck, Quentin. At least you have a fucking date. Michael and Lauren have each other, you have Balcony Girl, and even Eli's in his weird thruple. I'm fucking alone, dude. I don't have anybody right now. Maybe if you didn't try to control everything, you could actually let people in. That, that has nothing to do with anything. Let's just stop talking about this and go out there and film the show. Julian, the world is bigger than your stupid show. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm fine. Julian. Let's just get you ready for your date, okay? What should I wear? For a sex FaceTime, definitely the leather suspenders. <sighs> How's my hair? Why'd you shave your head? I have a date! So? The bottom's gotta match the top. Repulsive, come on. What if she wants to see my Instagram? Well, you can't let her. Why? Because it'll be game over. She'll think I'm your boyfriend. Why does everybody think we're dating? I have absolutely no idea. I guess we just don't look like friends. What do you mean we don't look like friends? We're like those unlikely baby animal pairings. Like, I'm a giraffe and you're a pig. Oh, like you're a tall lamp and I'm- A short, thick mini fridge, right. I'm Pete Davidson. I'm John Mulaney. Too much so. How about this one? On the LL spectrum, I'm more Bean and you're more Cool J. Ooh, that's good. What were we doing again? Oh right, one more thing. Okay, there we go. You're ready. Oh my god, she's calling. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Remember, tease her. Make her work for it. And save the- We asked for last. Oh my god, you are ready. Okay, knock her dirty. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you look ridiculous. I- I- I thought your- your sex joke was- was funny earlier. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it gave me a good laugh. Oh! I'm glad. Is your is your name really 
Quinton? It's Quinton. Is your name really Fire Escape Girl? I'm Eleanor. Nice to meet you, Eleanor. <laughs> I'm gonna go, Quentin, but have fun, okay? How you doing, Eleanor? I'm good. I'm good. Um, had a, had a pretty good day. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. You know, I didn't meet your dad until I was 40. Really? Don't look for love, Julian. Don't try to manufacture it. It'll find you and it'll be beautiful. Thanks, Tati. Your time will come. Ça ne prévient pas. Ça arrive. How'd it go? Really good. Ça vient de loin. Thanks for helping me. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry about earlier. Me too. I'm sorry. Come here. We have each other, okay? We do. And I'll always be there for you, Quinn, okay? It's just me and you, okay? And your growth. <laughs> Julian, I really am worried about that. It's okay, Quinn. I'll cut it off tomorrow, okay? <laughs> I have my in. I'm gonna take the social distance down. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Julian sent home from Spain. Quentin the law. One, two, one, two. Julian sent home from Spain. Quentin alone on the road again. Corona came and quarantine hit. Mike alone took him in, didn't. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I was like, see your moments. You want one more time? Yeah. All right, here we go.